Hi everyone, how are you doing today? I hope you're having a wonderful day. I am so excited to be here with my first update to my dude, you panned my battleship project. If you haven't seen this project before, it was created by Cookie Pans on Instagram and a beauty guru made me do it, Paula, here on YouTube. Their game is still going. If you are interested in this type of project, definitely check out their game and it has become very popular on Instagram, all over Instagram, and a little bit here on YouTube as well. Basically, the premise is it's a game of battleship, but with eyeshadows, we each have our game board of singles that we are trying to hit pan on. I'm playing this game with Martha Blair here on YouTube. Make sure and check her out to see her progress. And uh, whenever we hit pan, we update Instagram and see if we have hit a ship <laughs> that they have plotted on our board. So very exciting game. It's such a fun one, a fun way to try and hit pan on some singles in our stash. And I am so excited to say that I do have some pan to share this time. I can't believe it. I was so afraid of this project. And while there are some singles that I'm working on that will take a very long to time to hit pan on, I am happy with the, some of the progress that I have. So let's get right into it. First, I'm going to share some from the least used to the most used shadows that I've been working on in this project. And then I'll show you like an updated game board picture. So first off with nine uses, I have my ColourPop Super Sock super shock shadow. I feel like at least once in a video if I'm saying that I say super super shock. <laughs> but this is the shade Waddles. It is a beautiful satin finish and look at that. There is pan. So I did have some usage on this before I put this in the project. We agreed that it was we didn't have to have to put brand new shadows in this project. Some shadows it was okay to have some usage on as long as nothing was close to pan. So I did have a little bit of usage on this but first but this was the shade that I targeted. This is the one that I used all over my lid until I hit pan. And it honestly ha happened faster than I thought it would. I got my little notes. It took me, so in total, it took 18 uses to hit pan on this. I found that with the more sparkly glittery topper shades, I prefer to use my finger, but with this satin type formula, I much preferred using a brush. So, so I would load up my flat brush and put it all over my eye, which I think is how I was able to hit pan so quickly because it was a shade that I used quite a bit of all over my lid. Really, really pretty shade. I'm so stoked to have pan in another super shock in my stash. I always worry that these are going to go bad before they get good use. And while there's still a ton of product left, I love having pan in it. Oh, I totally forgot to put up a picture of how it looked beforehand. <laughs> I'm going to do that real quick. So here's a picture of how it looked for before I started working on it. And this is how it looks now. Next up, also at nine uses, is the shade Prom Night for Makeup Geek. I'm gonna put up a picture of how it looked when I first put it in the project. And now I'm gonna put up a picture of how it looks now. So this is the shade that I'm targeting now as my lid shade. Now that Waddles has been hit pan on, I this is probably one of the most intimidating shadows for me to target on my game board. So that's why I thought I would go for it. This is the perfect time of year to wear a cool toned taupey purple like this shade is. I'm actually wearing it on my outer lid today. I think it's beautiful. I have really loved using this shade. I have a little bit of a dip going as you can see after nine uses. So that is encouraging to me. I felt like this was going to take a really, really long time. And while it's still gonna take some time, obviously, I'm happy to see that there's actual usage showing on this. Very different from another shadow I have in this project that I will show you here in a minute. Okay, next shadow I used 10 times. It's another super shock and I hit pan on it. I was so thrilled, I couldn't believe it. So this is a sparkly topper shade. I'm gonna, this is the shade Ladybird. I'm gonna put a picture up of how it looked when I put it in the project. And this is how it looks now. You can see the pan there. Very exciting. I paired this with the other Super Shock, with Waddles. I would put the Waddles all over my lid and then tap this all over it on top. So I was using quite a bit of each shadow each time I used it, which is how I was able to hit pan so quickly. So combined with usage I had before on this and with the 10 uses I did this time, it took me 20 uses 
to hit pan on a ladybird. This is so beautiful. Such a pretty like ivory type topper shade. I was thrilled to get some good use on this one. So that's two super shocks with pan in them. Very, very exciting. Okay, now for my next use shadow. I use this shadow 21 times. Let me make sure I got that right. 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, 21 times. I put a picture of it up on the screen, how it looked when I first put it in. It was basically brand new. This is the shade Speedway from Sydney Grace. And I put a picture up of how it looks now. Check it out, guys. 21 times and uh, no dip. Some disturbance, maybe, <laughs> but no dip. That little fleck of white on there and there's a couple there's a bigger one there and a couple smaller ones i think it's just like a white pigment that didn't get fully incorporated into the shadow at first i thought it was like something from another shadow that had gotten onto it but no it's part of the shadow that's been pressed into it so that's all i can think of that what it is but it hasn't affected the color or the performance or anything weird so i will just work through it like i would the rest of the shadow but i can't believe 21 times and not even the tiniest little dip <laughs> Just a little bit of disturbance there on the top. So this one's going to take me forever. I do have it in my crease today, and that's exactly how I've been wearing it. If I've been wearing a cool toned look, I've been wearing this in my crease. This is going to take dedication. <laughs> dedication to work through this shadow. Now for the shadow that I have used the most in this project. I'm going to put up a picture of how it looked when it started. This is the shade Stardust from Makeup Geek, and now I'm going to put up a picture of how it looks now. Still no pan. I oh, I suppose you can no. Well, there you can kind of see. Twenty six uses. I have been using a very small detail brush with this. I've been just using it on my inner corner and on my like a uh, brow to bone highlight almost every single day. I can't believe I haven't hit pan yet. I feel like I'm really close. <laughs> But I know this will probably be the next one I hit pan on, which is great. I have several like inner corner shades in this project to work on. So I'm happy to see such good progress on this one. But yeah, still surprised. I haven't quite hit pan yet. Every time I use it, I check it. I'm like, are you sure there's no pan in there? Okay, so now I'm going to put up a picture of my game board. And I did put little wave emojis on the ones I hit pan on because they were misses. Shoot, you know, I didn't... I didn't hit any ships with those pans, which honestly isn't surprising. I wasn't really expecting her to put her ships on any super shocks, but this does at least help me to know where to go next. But if you guys are looking for more real-time updates on this project, make sure to check me out on Instagram. That's where I post whenever I hit pan and if it was a hit or miss. Also, if you're interested to see how Martha is doing, I know I am. I can't wait to see her update to see what shades she has been working on and what she's hit pan on or close to hitting pan on. I will, of course, have Martha linked down below. But after looking at all those shadows and how I've been doing, you guys can definitely see my strategy. I'm trying to use as many shades at the same time as possible in terms of lid shade, inner corner shade, highlight shade, you know, all those different things so that I can make some progress on some of these ones that are going to take a really long time like Speedway. I do have a few mattes in this project. I feel like each of them is probably going to be the same way. <laughs> so I don't have a ton of strategy just yet as to where I'm working on on the board right now i'm just choosing shadows that go together and hopefully uh, one of them will hit pan and then i'll have a definite direction to go on what to work on next right now i've been feeling the cool tones this has been my everyday look <laughs> wearing the cool tone shades in my eyeshadow projects and i have been feeling it i've been really enjoying it thank you guys so much for following along with this project i find it so much fun i'm really enjoying it it has really spiced up eyeshadow panning for me to make it a game let me know if you guys have hit pan on any sydney grace mats how long did it take you? <laughs> I'm expecting over 100 uses, honestly. But with that, I'm going to let you go, guys. I will update you again in a month, and we'll see how I'm doing then. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Bye!